is up all of you awesome awesome people it is the munch here and today yeah this is probably yeah this is our first time seeing my hair like this or my head like this rather and this is for my waves obviously you haven't seen my waves in about a good while that's just because this is probably going to be like a good while after i actually recorded this video so my waves are probably even better after this video or when this video is uploaded but i've been trying to brush i have i've been trying to brush a lot i average probably about at least 30 minutes a day i tried to at least actually there's one day i didn't even brush at all but that's besides the point i really do have to brush more but i know you're probably want to see the waves so let's just go ahead and stop rambling and get on with the waves and yeah i have this layer on there i did have like kind of this skull cap thing that i cut a hole in to fit my dreads in or compress but i lost it so I, I don't i don't know where it is i have no idea where it went and just like disappeared it is really crazy how stuff just disappears right in front of your eyes but anyways let's go ahead and take this first layer off and this layer under it is a kind of silk it's a silk thing i it's kind of like a scarf or whatever i found it in my mom's room it's pretty cool it looks pretty cool it doesn't look too feminine i was trying to find the least feminine thing possible Anyways, let's just go ahead and show y'all the waves. I kind of don't even know how they're looking, but let's go ahead and take this off. This is uh only a week. That's crazy. It's only been a week. It's only been a week. So let's go ahead and just see how these look. You want me to play some cool music? Uh, I don't know if I am, but I don't know. You see, but anyways, all right. Let's take it off. Okay. All right, this, how do they look? How do they look? I have no idea how this side is looking. I don't know if it looks good, especially in camera. But here's my other side. I think this side is kind of looking really good, kind of. And then we got the back view. Yeah, now it's time for me to see myself. All right, all right, a little something's going on, a little something going on. And what I'm finding is my hair is finally getting to its curl length or its wavelength. So that'll just make it even more easy for my waves to actually show since my hair is gonna be even curly, more curly. Cause I have to have enough curl length for my curls to be stretched out, but still be visible when they're stretched out. Cause I feel like how it was like a week ago is I had curls there, but if I were to stretch them out, they would just look straight. But now I stretch them out and they look I don't even know if y'all understand that. Hopefully y'all understand me. But let's just get a quick little brush session going on. Going on. <laughs> yeah, let's go. That should be enough for now because I ain't trying to do too much brushing right now because that usually goes down later in the day or at night when I'm watching YouTube. But one thing I've learned while waving this short amount of time I have been waving is it's it's a lot. It is. But it's giving, it's giving me a nice taste of waves. I mean, I feel like I'll find out that's all worth it once the waves actually start showing up way better the back you can really see the most ripples i feel like and the sides i feel like the connections are i feel like the connections will be very good on this side because like right here in this area is where i very first started seeing my waves especially like the very first day i did it but anyways i'm just gonna wet my hair a little bit with like some cold water i have some i have this spray is there Oh, there's spritz still in here. I can't do that. All right, so I'm going to get actually some real water because, hey, I would have probably messed my hair up if I put this in there. So let's go get it. All right, water on my hands. I probably should have wet both of my hands, right? I'll be back. I have to, like, speed back here so my hands don't dry up super quick, but just put this on my head. And I don't really know what this does. I'm just doing it because I see other people do it. So, hey. <laughs> That's how it's going right now. But pretty soon, I'll probably be an expert at this. Who knows? I know. I know I'm going to be an expert at this. All right, I'm just kidding. I'm not really kidding, though. So I wet my hair a little. And I'm doing, as you can see by the title, the plastic bag method. Which apparently this even works with a potato chip bag. But also works with a plastic bag, which most people do with the plastic bag. I don't think it has to be any special type thing. It could be Ziploc, Kroger, Great Value, whatever you have. It could even be a grocery bag. I mean, if you could do it with a chip bag, you could do it with a grocery bag. But anyways, uh, I'm just going to brush my hair down a little bit more. And look what I got. Oh, snap. Look what I got. 
And look what I got. Dang it. And look what I got. Sport and waves. And I had no idea my mom had this, but I woke up and my mom put this in my room. I'm like, hmm, thanks mom. Always coming in clutch with the everything. But I remember this stuff from when I was a kid and it really reminds me of when I was a kid because this is what I used or what my mom used on me when I was trying to get waves, struggling trying to get waves when I was younger. And I feel like the biggest things that give me nostalgia are smells, music, and yeah, just smells and music. Like just, it's like almost like a time machine. I hope I didn't sound stupid saying that. But anyways, I'm just gonna get a little bit um, dime size right here. Cause I really don't need that much. And just put it in on. I have no idea what I'm doing right now cause I don't have a mirror in front of me. But I really don't want to, I really don't like my bathroom shots, so I don't want to go in the bathroom to do this. And basically all the all these products do is make your hair lay down. And that's the biggest thing because I've noticed my hair has been kind of afro -y lately. But my hair is probably my hair is getting pretty long on the sides, not even going to lie. I haven't checked it, but maybe I'll do that in another video to see how long my hair has grown. Alright, so now that our hair is like that, we have to get our plastic bag. And I believe you do want to have product in your hair, but like, you just want to like open it up, stuff your hand in it. And I'm using a little bit of a smaller one because I mean, I just don't have that big of a head for wave, of waves. I have a big head, but not all the head is waves, you know. But anyways, I'm going to try this, give it a review on this and see how good this actually works. So let's try it. Give y'all the first look. Yo. I feel like it already did something. It's like it took the thickness of my hair and just like that fast. Yo, hold up. Yo, that's actually what it's doing. I didn't know it worked that fast. That's actually like really surprising. All right, so yeah, it's just smushing my hair. Yeah, it's getting my hair laid, laid. That's what the way for me calls it, they call it laid. This is actually working. Like, this is like legit working. I mean, it's not that I didn't think it was, well, I'm not even gonna lie, for some reason, I didn't think it was gonna work or do much, but it's doing a lot and it's doing it very quickly. I wonder what the science is behind this, because I know like with dreadlocks, you could palm roll your hair and that like creates friction. That's why the hair sticks to each other and that's why it gets all dense. But it's like, why specifically a plastic bag? Like what is the, what's the, why is a plastic bag so effective for waves is my question. If y'all know, put that down in the comments. I'd like to know. Now I'm trying to put it on the other hand and boom. It's just like, boom, instant. It's not even like I'm putting that much pressure on my head. Like I'm just going with it. I'm not like, I'm trying to smash my hair back into my scalp. I'm just going with it like it's just regular, like a regular brush. Wow, this is actually very effective. I did not even know this. See so yeah, our review? This is really good. It works really good. Basically, if you don't know why waves need to be like so much laid down, it's because, I mean, that's essentially what they are, is laid down curls. And plus, if you're like woofing or something, you don't want it to look like an afro and you want it to be as flat down as possible. Especially with coarser hair types, I believe it's really hard to lay your hair down. So that's why you need to wear a do-rag, you need to do the plastic bag method. You need to brush for a long time, not only to get the waves, but to make them lay down. I don't really know how long I'm supposed to do this, but I think just until my hair is laid down the way I want it to, which is pretty much laid down the way I want it to. So I'm just gonna stop right there. We well, see if my waves are looking like this right now, but in a few weeks, I would dare to even say in two weeks, they're going to they're going to be there. Especially if I put in the work, they're going to be there. Because really, the more you brush, the faster your waves are going to form. But anyways, I thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure I like it. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, please make sure I subscribe. And turn on post notifications so you'll never miss on another video from me in the future. And with that being said, I love you all. And I'll see you all in the next video.